good morning we are back at the turf job that we started yesterday to do the final touches the extra turf strip that we need won't be here until this afternoon so we're gonna have to wait on that part of the process but what we're gonna do first is start cutting in doing our finishing cuts on some of these edges that we haven't cut yet and stapling them down to the border that we put in here. So I'm gonna tuck some of it, but it's a little long to tuck no, this. No, no, I know. I just didn't know if you were gonna wanna go all the way flat. It's a little awkward with these boards. Beautiful. I'm gonna staple this whole side down if and then go that way. Now, then it'll let me like kind of pull it tight that way while you staple. Yeah. You wanna nail this front of the grass? Um no, nah, it's alright. Do it with my finger. My little thingy. So we got some river rock to put in these side areas while we still wait for that extra piece of turf and the infill that's supposed to be getting delivered. And if we finish this rock and it still hasn't delivered, I'm gonna call and figure out what time. And if it's later afternoon, then we are just gonna come back and do it tomorrow. Cause I'm not gonna wait till four or five o'clock till it shows up and then try and rush before the sun goes down to finish it. So we'll just come back and do it tomorrow if that's the case. But for now we're gonna get this rock in there, spread it out, wash it down, 
Let's see what it looks like. So we got all the rock in here and the it is two o'clock right now and the infill as well as the other piece of turf to finish this area isn't there are they're an hour out right now so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here they're still up in st pete doing deliveries so who knows when they'd actually get here so we're gonna come back tomorrow and finish this one up so we'll see you then we are back and the turf finally showed up and we got our infill bags so now we're going to cut the turf put it into the small area get it glued down make our final cuts there and then we have to set those bags on top of the glue until it dries up before we can stretch it and finally staple it down and nail it down Yeah, I'd say 124. And then 57 over here is like close to the nails. Yeah, we need to cut this edge first and then uh, cut these side edges and then we can leave that to last after we glue this down. We made this harder on ourselves, but. Why? Because if we would have measured this out from the opposite side of the turf, then what we did, then this edge would have been the factory cut edge and we could have gone that right up to the eighth inch. Yeah. Yep. And then just glue it and weight it and stretch it in and cut the rest. That's why we're pros though, because we gotta do that. We gotta make it hard on ourselves. Because yeah. nothing's too hard, right, E? That was enough patience. Now it's time to put the glue down on our seam. Just got the seam cut in. Yo E, did you think that that turf glue in the bucket in the trailer was already open? This is the one that's already open? No, none of them have been open. Oh, we threw that one away that was from... Maybe. Oh. But the one in the trailer is closed just like this one is. Oh, okay. It's got the seal still on it. You should lay this side down first too, by the way. Which side? 
because the hairs are laying this way so when you lay this side down the those hairs will, will lay like on top of them like that go this side oh yeah no that. i know yeah. yeah that's how i was laying it when i was doing the seam Y'all gotta eat. What was that? Yeah. That's why. That's why we bought that. For CS the key. That seems like the best application oh, yeah, used for big. this it's thing. Too big for it. Oh, why is it hard? Dude, there are some chunks in here. So run like water yeah, go like this. I don't know yeah. it's just gonna get all over the side dude it is so runny that is insane like why is it that runny here should I just pour a little line and then you just smear it out yeah I think that's what we're gonna have to do because I can't pick it up out of there without it getting all over the yeah. bucket Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm just gonna go straight. Super. Yeah. And so now Ethan's grabbing some of the infill bags and we're going to lay the bags on top of this seam so that it can press it down and let it dry out. And the reason why you can still see the seam right now is all of this turf has been laid out for a couple days now. The sun's been on it and the hairs are starting to stand up. And all of these hairs are still folded over because we just unrolled it. So once you put the infill in and sweep it out, like we have this sweeper that we use to get all of the grass blades to face upwards and not be leaned over. This sweeper, it's got a motor on the back. Milwaukee sells one too that's battery powered, but we bought this one. And uh, we use that before we put the infill in to get all the hair standing up so the infill can fall down to the bottom more so. And then also it's just to help all the hairs face the same way and then you won't see the seam anymore. And so the infill that we have for this is actually for pets, for peeing and pooping on it. It won't smell. Um, it's got uh, some type of stuff in it that just just takes away all the smell of the pets i'm not i'm not a scientist i don't know exactly what it is but 
that is what we're going with on this one because we're doing this area because this uh, customer has dogs that come in and out and they track a lot of dirt this area was just all dirt and so they would come out here and just tear it up and so now they won't be tracking any more dirt and you got turf and you got rock and then once we put these bags on here and let it dry a little bit we can start stretching it out that way and then cutting that final edge nailing it down and we can run our staples over here on this edge so our gas powered sweeper doesn't ever want to start up so we had to run to home depot and get a milwaukee sweeper which we originally wanted so now we have it put it together and we'll see how she does Got our new sweeper going, and this thing works much better. You can see where he's been, where he still needs to go. This is the pet infill, the odor eliminator that we're using. And then we're using this Hero Fill artificial turf infill. We got eight bags of this stuff and five bags of that stuff. So we put one of those bags down and then we put one of these bags down on top of it. And whenever we run out of the um, pet deodorizer, then we just use the infill the rest of the way to pop it off. So we are all finished up here. Got that back area put in. Got the rock all put in. It's looking mighty fine. So now I can tell the customer that she can release the doggos out here this afternoon. The new sweeper did its job. Battery powered one because our gas powered one just doesn't want to start all righty that's it for this one getting out of here